Hello, Family of Light, and welcome back to my channel. This is a reading for the advanced souls. I don't know if I would say necessarily a reading, but a check-in to see how you guys are doing and for me to kind of give you an update on how the energy has been for me. It has been quite a roller coaster. It's like times I feel very grounded, sometimes I don't. Um, I did get some information here and I will pass that along. But in the meantime, let's do the Ascended Masters deck. Facing fear. I think that's what we're definitely doing is facing fears, going into the darker parts of ourselves, even if only for a second, and then coming back in or coming back out. As major spiritual changes are unfolding, this is your chance to soar. And I really feel like that's true. I've definitely been getting a lot more guidance as of late. Um, let's see. Oops. Holy Amethyst. Divine Chemistry. Move beyond current challenges and focus on your desire. Oops, sorry. And that's definitely what I've also been trying to do. And it's interesting because I've been trying to face my fears so I can manifest the things that I truly desire. Because I feel right now this is a, a special time for us um, to really realize that we have way more power than we think we do to move things forward in the way we want it to. Now, let's see. Perfection. I feel like, you know, the guides are saying, you know, this is perfection, but don't get caught in the thought of perfection, especially in this 3D reality. Because this 3D reality is always shifting and changing. And perfection, you know, it's like as soon as you reach what you think is perfection, it starts to decay or it starts to morph or it starts to change. So, I've been working with um, Ice, the goddess Isis and um, Thoth. Now, I want to see if Thoth has anything he would like to add. He's talking about a continuation of one of the last messages we gave about um, the Akashic Records. He wants to go in more detail about the Akashic Records and getting to know the Emerald Tablets more on more of a deeper level. What I'm hearing him say is if you ask the right people, they can get you anyone you want. It's also going to the librarians and asking them or asking him. Let's see, let's use this Divine Doors. This box is so darn cute, makes me want to throw up. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that, but I just did. Let's see. What do we need to know right now? Too many. Oh, we're taking that one. A moment's joy. Sand through the hourglass. I hope this isn't a soap opera or a telenovela. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of, of the heart's will. Hmm. And I was just talking about perfection and how perfection is fleeting. You know, at least here in the 3D, because I don't remember what it's like, you know, in the non-physical here when I'm talking with you. Um, they want to 
go over the concept of the three new energies that have come in. And it's weird, it's a concept that um, was introduced to me earlier today. And because it's, it's interesting, they're, they're talking about like past, present, future, but they're saying it's not like past, present, future, and it's something to do with timelines and learning to work with the three different energies that um, are currently being integrated here in the 3D and of course in the non-physical realms as well. If I go silent, it means I'm listening to them. He wants to go further into um, the emerald tab tablets. He he's saying that when you um, finally get your hands on one of them. Because they are the most beautiful green in the way that they, it's almost they're they're they they're lit up from within is how I experiencing them experience them, and they do not have um, language that you can you know not language like ours, so you have to interpret it in a in a more of a a psychic way like taking it. It's almost like braille. And sometimes the, the, le the letters will come off of the emerald tablets and they will, um, they're almost like packets of information that will divulge whatever is in that particular symbol. Almost like a Reiki symbol, I guess. Um... Okay, he's saying that's enough for now. But he's saying, you know, the ones of you who from the past... Um, advanced reading heard that one they're saying he's saying you know if you choose go back and gain any information that you would like he says of course as long as it is for the highest good of all and of course they can tell what that is but as an advanced soul you would already know that it's kind of like you know them being able to see in your soul so if there was ill intent or ego they'd be like okay we'll come back later <laughs> all right let's see now can't even remember what this one is called but they're telling me that they want me to look this is a regular tarot well it's not a regular tarot deck but it is got some amazing visuals on it figures it would be this one. This is one of my favorite ones on this. It's the Ace of Vessels, the Waters of Life. Interesting. Okay. So you know how I was just talking about the three different um, new energies, uh, energy streams? He's talking about these and he's, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to listen and understand. Yeah, they're, it's kind of like they're building upon each other and becoming one. And what I had heard earlier is that it won't be able to be combined as of yet. It depends. Maybe you'll be able to do it, you know, sooner, but it's getting to know each different stream and then bringing it into one. And that you know how we were talking about the the advanced souls message from what is it a while ago it was talking about um, time travel and shifting time and even being able to shift um, past, present, and future. This is for somehow this is going along with it, and I don't quite understand it. So you guys can leave a message down below and give me your thoughts and insights about it. Okay, this is a collaborative process, right? Interesting. What else? Uh, what would an advanced reading be without 
going into healing and going into our dark side. Yippee! I know. I sound so fakely enthusiastic. All right. So we are going to use this Oracle of Visions. This deck is giganto. It's interesting because this, um, the description of the card in the book is talking about, you know, them being nostalgic about a lover from the past, you know, and him having like a, not a throne, what are they called? Um, where you worship something. Anyway, you can tell I'm really into worshiping. So that must be, it must've been her mass. Maybe it's his holding a flame. So what is this about? What I just heard is reclaiming the past. Reclaiming the past by working with these energies individually and figuring out your own way to weave them together in a harmonious manner so you can make astonishing changes. Wow. <clears throat> what I'm getting here with this one is it's going to take you out on some limbs some edges that you didn't think that you would be going to but know that you have all the tools, the skills, and the knowledge. And what I'm hearing is that when you feel confused in these moments when you're like, how did I get here and how do I get out? Um, ask for help with knowledge and information from the Akashic Records and the Emerald Tablets if you feel <clears throat> desirous to do, to do so. You know, and see how this bonsai tree is looking dead, but it's got this bloom here this flower this is telling me anything is possible something that you felt is lost and we're not necessarily talking about love but you know something that you thought was lost could possibly not be god i think right now seriously like as far as time and how it's being perceived and what advanced souls are capable of doing that all bets are off you know, past, present, future. And for people who aren't advanced souls, they're going to be like, what the hell is this chick talking about? But hey, click off the video. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, she's got this old-time sewing machine. And she's weaving the energy together. See how it's separate. And then... It becomes this weave together pattern of a rainbow. Interesting. And it's interesting too, because I didn't realize that it was just three. So what green, yellow, and red. Hmm. Definitely some coded messages in there for all of us, huh? Me likey. And then look. Oh. And I think this one came up with a, um, a thing about time, I think. I'd have to go back and look at the other advanced readings. But amazing things are available to us now that haven't been. Not in a long time. Ooh. I'm getting excited. Yay. All right. Let's see. Do we have to go into dark stuff? All right. Yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, if you want to do this, you got to make sure you're facing your fear. All right. What do we as a collective that's going to be listening to this advanced souls need to know the most? 
naked before the stars. You know, and like I was saying earlier, when you're going into the Akashic Records and, you know, asking to see uh, an emerald, ta emerald tablet about whatever the subject is that you want to know about, they'll be able to see through you. So it would be advantageous for, you know, you and me to make sure that we are of clearest energy and of the highest good possible. Because especially since they can see through us. They're like, well, yeah, you come back when you face this particular fear or when you've cleared this particular hoo-ha, whatever it is. Today for tomorrow. Wow. These, I feel like these are coded messages. Hmm. Yeah, they're saying what's available right now is you could rewrite. There's a rewriting that could happen. I'm hearing ancestrally. Your own personal life, past, present, future. Wouldn't necessarily change the past, but it would change the energy that you bring forth into the now. So like you rewrote the fact that you were abandoned as a child by your parents. You know, you rewrite that. Your DNA believes it. So you, you come forth in this particular energy right now with the feelings and the DNA knowledge, knowing that, yeah, I was nurtured, I was taken care of, I was loved. And then you can present that to whomever else you want to interface with. Sweet. All right. What else, spirit? Let's do this. Angels and ancestors, shall we? Come on. Earth Mother, feeling loved and comforted. So if you were asking, you know, how would you reprogram? What I'm hearing is ask Mother Earth, go out into nature. If you're in a somewhat warm area or not, take your shoes off and ground in the dirt. She's got our back. She's got all of us, really. Mm, wow. Well, here on the bottom of the deck. Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. Wasn't that just what I was talking about? Dang all lang. I love this stuff. You can't make this shit up. When you got spirit hanging out with you, this is fabulous. Oops. All right, anything else that we want to share here? I'm hearing no, but let's do, for fun, let's do some color therapy. This is a nice little cutie deck and it's like color swatches. Who doesn't love that? All right. Let's do one little last message here. Universal energy. I don't know if it'll look good on my wall, but I like purple. Okay, so what I'm hearing is these um, energies of the three that we're working with separately and are eventually going to be able to, in our own timing, be able to weave them together, we'll be able to, um, what was the word they used? Intertwine the, the foundational energies of universal energy. It's like, um, how do I say it? Like a, it's an elementary course. It's elementary, my dear Watson. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, this definitely has augmented what I was um, told today. And I hope that you guys find this helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. 
and I will see you on the next Advanced Souls. Make sure that you comment down below on what kinds of information you've been getting so we can, you know, put all the pieces of the puzzle together because I figure this is kind of like a big puzzle. That's interesting because when you think about it, and you know, you guys let me know, but the way my, my guides have presented information to me over the years is they'll give me like some random card and go, okay, it's, you know, like a puzzle piece, like, okay, here's this. And you're like, well, what do I do? What is that? And they're like, oh, just keep this information. And then later on, we'll, you know, we'll revisit it. You know, week later, months later, years later, you get some other one that fits in with these puzzle pieces. So is that how your guides give you information? Is like, here's a puzzle piece, keep it. Here's another puzzle piece, keep that. And then after a while, you're like, oh my God, this is an entire picture. And the way they present it is absolutely amazeballs. All right, you guys, now that I've yammered on enough, I will talk to you later and please give this a thumb up. Bye-bye.